Welcome back, heroes, to another video of Marvel Contest of Champions. Today, we're going to be looking at a special, well, not a special, but the Awakened Spider-Man, the black suit symbiote Spider-Man in the game. Now, this is my favorite character. I'm going to say that, you know, out of every character in the game, and unfortunately, we didn't get a four-star, but we did get a three-star, which I'm, you know, I'm okay about. That's because... Obviously, five stars gonna be coming soon, someday, one day. I don't know what day, but it's already here. It's just that none of us have it yet, and obviously, we will probably see it. So the four star eventually. You know, I was playing Spider-Man Unlimited, and they started off with four star and five star, six star, seven star. And now they're up to eight star. When I had the seven star, I had a lot, like a lot of seven star in Spider-Man Unlimited, and then. They brought out the 8-star, and now I'm like, gosh, now I have to get the 8-star. So, you know, because I play multiple games, you know, uh, the stars doesn't really matter to me that much anymore. But, of course, if I was able to get the higher star, I would be more happy. Just like everybody else. If you got gotten a higher star, I'm pretty sure you'll be happy as well. But here we are. I did compete in the event. You see, at the first, I was thinking... Nah, I'm not going to compete in it. All of a sudden, and I realized, Electro, Electro, Electro. Why do you have to put Electro? And then, uh, you know, I did play a few rounds. Well, not a few rounds, but, you know, I played a bit. Um, first, there was a lot of questions. So I'm going to answer one of the questions, probably about the score. I think the top 10 players in the last four-star event, it was like roughly 10 to 13 million. Yes, 10 to 13 million. I'm not sure what the cutoff is, but I think I made like... I don't know, I, maybe 2.9, 2.8 million, somewhere around there. And I did play for three days. Not non-stop, though. Non-stop being you have to keep on rushing and not you not eat and not anything. So, you know, uh, that's what I got. But I don't think I'm going to go in there. I mean, I got how, 10, 13 million, that's a lot. That's, that's I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm never going to compete to 10 to 13 million when the game was first released like a year ago it was still doable it was enjoyable you know getting the character now it's more like a job and the worst thing is you know uh sometimes my boss would tell me yo you got to get this character but i'm like i don't want to compete so that's why i dive into crystal sometimes which is unfortunate but i still do second question Players were asking me, where am I in the Realm of Legends? Realm of Legends, I'm still doing it. I'm stuck. Uh, <laughs> I'm stuck at Wolverine, in fact. And I don't know. I, I did buy some units. You know, the discount pack that they have. I bought it. I think I should be able to beat them. Well, should be. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm stuck in there. Obviously, um, the Realm of Legends is hard. Not everybody can do it. And it's going to take some time. What else? Oh, right. Um, players were asking me, how do you get a four star? And I have no clue. The best way is like, you see, the crystal is like completely random and it's up to rates. And sometimes the rates is like, I don't know. It's lucky for some people. It's lucky for, you know, it's unlucky for other people. Or maybe some people that play the game. Like if you can compete in the arena a lot. I don't know. I mean, I'm just guessing. And one of the reasons I do say these things is, I'm not sure if I said it in any video. I am opened 100 new accounts. Yes, I opened over 100 new accounts. And I spun one crystal on each account. And I noticed that the newer accounts were, you know, had a slightly better chance of getting a 3-star and 4-star opposed to my account. This account, I'm not sure about the other accounts. But anyways, that's why I was thinking, yeah, maybe a new players or players that don't play... Uh, have a better chance. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just guessing because obviously i done my tests. That's what I do. And that's my results. That's all I'm saying. I, think, I don't know. Anyways, let's go right into the Awakened Spider-Man Black Suit Symbiote Spider-Man. I already made a video, but now, you know, we're going to awaken this character in the game. Let's pick it up. I would have done, like, you know, a Q&A kind of thing, but... I'm thinking, I don't usually do those type of videos, so I might as well just mush it into one video and answer the questions that uh, viewers have. If I missed your question, unfortunately, probably didn't see it. Oh, right. One last thing. 
be sure to hit me up on Twitter because that's where I'm able to read your comments and stuff like that. Anyway, so here is Spider-Man. Awakened Spider-Man. Spider-Sense. Let's go on in here. I was going to level this character and then I'll, I'll just like forget. <laughs> because I'm stuck in the realm of legend. I can't do anything. I, what, what is a, How am I going to level him? Rank him up actually. I don't have any catalyst. So I was like forget it. But I did want to level this guy up to a max level. Here we are with Spider Sense, Special Attack, Increase Agility. Let's get out of here. They did change this. I noticed that. They changed it to Storm and Electro. The bio is the same. I think pretty much everything else is the same. We'll run into a battle and then we'll check out this character in the game. You can go into here. Alright, so there it is. Spider Sense just triggered right now. Gonna let him hit us. I, I guess it kind of evades. Well, some attacks. Alright, we're gonna have to finish him off. Unfortunately, it's not triggering. We're gonna do that again. But here's a super. I really like the suit. The only thing is that the moves are... Pretty much the same as Spider-Man. Alright, we're going to look at the first attack. And there it is. Spider-Sense just triggered right now. We're going to take some more hits. There we go. We're evading. I don't know. If you ask me which one is better, I'm not really sure. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's do the thing again. So it triggers when you launch a special attack opposed to before. Alright, so I'm trying to take some hits. or may Maybe evade. So you can evade while this thing is triggered. Right there. Ours is only level 8. So it's not that high. But there it is. The Symbiote Spider-Man. In Marvel Contest of Champions. The Awakened Symbiote Spider-Man. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this Spider-Man. Or I guess the suit. Or if you like the other suit. It's pretty much the same suit. It, it, the only difference is their different color and design. I don't think it can do any venom stuff like. You know, things that I actually like. But there it is. And I know some of you were saying, hey, you haven't played a Web of Shadow? And I was like, no, I didn't. Unfortunately, yeah, it's just that I don't have enough time competing in this game, which is terrible. Obviously, you know, I should be playing Web of Shadow since I'm a big spy. I think I played every game except the Web of Shadow. So I'm probably going to take some time off from this game to play Web of Shadows, and then we'll, we'll have some videos on that as well. Anyways, that is pretty much it. Spider-Man, Symbiote Black Suit Spider-Man, the Awakened Spider-Man in Marvel Contest of Champions. Let me know what you think about the character in the comments below. Let me know if you'd like this Spider-Man or the other Spider-Man, or the I guess the other suit. Uh... And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos on Marvel Contest of Champions.